Welcome to another video. Uh, sorry to over <laughs> overdo them, um, but it's, it's a windy day. It's not far off rain, but it's not raining, but it's windy, which means I can test the new uh, windproof gas stove. Um, I'm going to make some hot dogs. I've got a couple of sausage, there's hot dog sausages left, a couple of buns I need to use. I'll get an onion from the garage, which is from last year's cropping. Uh, we'll get going, so uh, let's start the video. Alright, so I've just got that save out the wind and we'll uh, turn the gas on now. There is another light on it. So it is on. Okay. That's going nicely. Pan on. Carefully bring it in because these can get hot. That's the only thing. And we'll try that. Well, that heats up a bit. These are the sausages. These are pork. Red Leicester, jalapeno, peppers, um, I think that's about it. They're like hot dog sausages. This is a funny old pan. It doesn't work on our stove in there. It's very unbalanced, cheap thing. We just use it for messing about like this. Right. Let the sizzle begin. I've got to say the windproof thing is working really, really well because there's quite a breeze coming through here and if that had been my um, trangier stove it would have struggled so no problems whatsoever Time's up the end there We're only going to cook these sausages and onion out here just to test them and then we'll put it together inside. I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Quite impressed. What a gorgeous smell. <laughs> okay. This sausage is done now really. So I'm going to place it on top. Always reminds me of being by the fairground. The smell of fried onions. Beautiful. We're almost there. Right, we're all ready. Stop cooking now, we'll take them in and we'll plate them up. Now sadly, these are the wrong size buns for the size of the sausage, but you'll see what I mean now. Um, 
I would put butter on, but it hasn't melted enough, so I'm not bothering. Oh no, just no, not bad. That's that one. And then that one. In there. And then just on. You can make hot dogs on a camping stove. Work well. Now usually I would put mustard and ketchup on here. So today I'm going to put some ketchup on and instead of mustard I'm going to use this hot sauce which is like a mustardy pickle type thing. So some of that can go first. There you go. Some in the other one. There you go. I'm going to shake this. And then some of this. And there you have homemade hot dogs on the windproof stove, which work well. All we've got to do now is the taste test. So here we have it. Would you like one? Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious me. Absolutely stunning. Mmm. Sausages are lovely. I don't find there's any heat in the sausages. Even look at me, sorry. Even though there's jalapenos in them. Um but flavoursome. The West Indian sauce is beautiful. As I say, it's mustardy, perfect for this. There's a good kick to it. The ketchup and of course the fried onions. Absolutely stunning. So this is my um, evening meal. Well, nearly late afternoon. So we'll leave it there. Sorry to my dear with videos. But as I say, I had some bits and pieces to use up. The two buns, the sausages. Um, and I wanted to try the stove. It was windy out, quite breezy, and it worked well. So um, well done to the windproof camping stove. Um, I had it off Amazon, I think it was. I may have put a clip into the box. You've seen it if you watch the live, but that's what it is. Um, worked well for me. Good stuff. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.